Good morning everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome to another week in our video blog series. What we're going to tackle this week is bad posture. Uh, this is a very common issue with almost everybody. Uh, you know, I'll even admit, you know, myself, I'll, at times I'll catch myself with poor posture and, and so I try to correct it right away. But it, it's a very serious issue uh, with, with people today. It's causing a lot of, a lot of pain and tension and, and chronic problems uh, within the population. Uh, so, you know, specifically what I'm going to talk about with bad posture is uh, slouching and what's called anterior head carriage. Uh, most people, when they sit, they tend to slouch. So, uh, you know, the, the, the pro I guess, let me start with the proper position to sit is up, sitting up straight with the shoulders back and the head, you know, positioned right up over the body back, you know. But, but what most people tend to do uh, is number one is they slouch, so the shoulders roll forward. So that's one of the, the biggest things I see not only in my patients, but when I'm out in public and I just look at people, you see the forward rolled shoulders where people's sh shoulders roll in. Uh, so people will roll their shoulders in. And then really the second thing uh, that goes along with that is called uh, anterior head carriage or forward head posturing. That's where the head droops forward. Uh, so those two two combined can cause a it's a recipe for disaster. It can cause a lot of problems. If we look at it from the side, the shoulders roll forward and the head droop and the head droops forward. Uh, and what that really does is it it really creates a lot of tension, uh, compression, um, tightness in the in between the shoulder blades through the trapezius muscles and up into the neck and the occipital bone in the back of the head. So you know it can create you know pain between the shoulder blades, neck pain, and headaches. Uh, you know, it can even cause numbness tingling down the arms, down the arms. So there's there's a lot of different issues that, that can happen with poor posture. And in, in today's day and age, there's a lot of people working at computers. Uh, you know, there's people that work at a computer all day long. So, you know, they'll sit there with the hand on the mouse, the shoulders rolled forward. You know, the screen's here, and so they they droop their head forward to look down. In today's day and age, with with cell phones, with texting, you know. Where most people have their phone when they're texting, they have it down here, so the shoulders roll forward, the head droops down. You know, people when they're reading or looking at papers on their desk, the head's always down. So, you know, day after day, when that head is always down and forward, over time that that neck just positions forward to where it's a permanent, uh, you know, it's a permanent poor posture. And again, that's going to create a lot of problems in the neck and upper back. So. You know, if you're noticing on a day-to-day -day basis, like, geez, you know, I feel a lot of tension between my, you know, up and up between my shoulder blades and my neck. I'm feeling a lot of tension. I'm getting headaches. I feel all this pressure. You really need to evaluate your posture. And again, think about when you're sitting there, shoulders back, head back. When you're, if you're working at a computer, you need to have the screen at eye level. Uh, you know, you need to really look. If the screen's down below eye level, that's going to cause your head to look down. You know, if it's above eye level, it's going to cause you to tilt your head back, and that can cause a lot of facet joint irritation. So again, you really want the monitor at eye level. Whether it's moving your monitor up or down, or moving your chair up or down, you want it at eye level. You want your shoulders back. You want your head forward. You know, when you text, be conscientious about where your phone's at. You know, try not to have it way down here. You know, try to have it up here when you text so that you're looking again straight forward. Um, you know, this may seem kind of excessive, but you know, if you're reading in bed before you go to sleep at night, you know, try to prop your uh, a book or your magazine or newspaper. You know, try to prop it up higher somehow. Again, at eye level to where you're not down here. Um, you know, take to take these me you know take these measures uh, to try to have better posture. You know, and if you really work hard on a daily basis uh, of having better posture. Over the course of time, you can improve your posture and the curve in your in your spine or neck. Uh, you know, you can make improvements. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that happens when people roll their shoulders forward is it shortens the pec muscle. You know, the pec obviously goes from the sternum over to the shoulder, and when you always roll that shoulder in, it actually shortens the muscle and to where you're permanently in a rolled forward position. You know, so by having poor posture, you can help keep that normal length of the pec. Uh, you know, even stretching, you know, putting your hand on the wall and stretching this way can help keep that normal, that normal length uh, in, in the pec, you know. Um, you know, and I can go into, I could go into exercises to strengthen the back too to help keep that, that shoulder back. You know, I could do a whole other blog on that. But I, again, I just really want to emphasize, focus on keeping the shoulders back and the head back. You know, we don't want to see you slumped, slumped forward like a monkey like that. Um, 
you know, you can you can actually have fun with it too when you're out in public. You know, just people watch and you can see, you know, you know that guy's got really bad posture. Um, you know, look at how how slumped over he is, or you know, you you can really see a lot of bad posture uh, out in society out in society. And again, this is causing headaches, neck pain. These are causing a lot of chronic issues. And you know, really. With with the, sh the forward rolled shoulders, I mean that even that even kind of compresses the space for your lungs. You know, I mean, you, a lot of people find out when they start getting adjusted, they start having better posture. They, they feel like they can breathe better just because again you're taking stress off the lungs when you're not so slumped over. So hope this was helpful again today. Uh, you know, giving you some posture tips. Really try to on a daily basis to focus on improving posture. Uh, thanks for listening this week. We'll join join you again next week. Have a great weekend.